Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. The Sound Blaster Katana V2 might be the very best soundbar that I've ever used. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, Creative sent me the Sound Blaster Katana V2 for a fair and honest review. And that's exactly what we're gonna do here. This is a soundbar and subwoofer designed for gaming. Truth be told, I've been underwhelmed with soundbars I've tried out in the past, so much so that I decided not to do review videos on them. The Sound Blaster Katana version 2 though shows a lot of promise. Now taking a look inside the box and this is pretty much every single thing you get. You get an instruction manual which I would recommend taking a look at. You get a power adapter with a bunch of different connectors so it doesn't really matter where you are in the world. You get a wall mounting bracket in case you wanted to mount the soundbar to the wall. You've got a remote, you've also got a USB-C cable, and you've got your audio cable. We've also got a pretty awesome subwoofer, and notice that the exit for the subwoofer is on the side as opposed to the bottom, and we'll get more into that in just a second. And last, but definitely not least, the Sound Blaster Katana V2 soundbar. Taking a look at the top of the soundbar, and we've got two top-mounted speakers. We've also got top-mounted controls. So for the controls, we have a Bluetooth and power button, a volume down, volume up, a source button, a mode button, and a Super XFI, or Super XFI button? I'm not quite sure how to say that. And on the front here, we've got our digital display and a headphone jack. And interestingly enough, there's also two little holes here for your microphone. I'm not quite sure why there's a microphone that's built into this, but there is. On the bottom here, we have an LED bar that runs the entire length of the soundbar. And here are the ports at the back. We've got HDMI, Super XFI, USB-C, we've got our audio port, an optical port, and the subwoofer port. And there's also the power connector. And taking a closer look at the subwoofer, this is what I meant by the side exit. If you take a look at the bottom, there is nothing there. It's completely sealed. The base comes out of the side of this thing, which really opens up where you can place this. The initial setup of the Katana V2 was simple and straightforward. I literally just connected the cables, plugged it in, and, well, I was off to the races. If you know how to plug speakers in, you should know how to set this thing up. By default, the LEDs are on, and the LEDs can be easily configured with the RGB light in the center of the remote. You can change different modes here, and you can also brighten them, darken them, or just turn them off if you want. You can also adjust the brightness of the display on the front panel. Bright, darker, off. Now I'll play some audio and compare the TV speakers with the Katana V2, both for a song and also in game. Just be mindful that I'm recording this audio through a microphone and then you're listening to it through whatever audio device you're using. So it may or may not be an accurate representation of how this actually sounds. Now in addition to that, you can further customize the Katana V2 via software on your PC, an app on iOS, or an app on Android. I preferred using the app on my Android device, it connected very easily. The app was simple and straightforward, it was easy to use, and the best part about it is that I didn't have to sign up for anything whatsoever in order to use the app, and nothing was hidden behind paywalls. To my surprise, the app was very useful and functional, something I'd highly recommend checking out if you do pick up this soundbar. 
You can configure a ton of things in here, and there are some surprises. You can set custom buttons to perform specific actions. You can easily adjust volume levels. You can change the decoder on this between normal, full, and night, I guess based on your listening preferences and also the time of day. You can also fully customize the LEDs. You can adjust the brightness. You can set specific colors. You can pretty much do anything you want with it. And if you are curious, there's a total of seven LEDs on the light bar on the front. There's a very interesting scout mode which is designed to emphasize things like footsteps. If you really know what you're doing you can tinker around with the equalizer if you want or you can select one of the many presets and I actually recommend selecting the presets. They have a whole bunch here including gaming which is probably what most will gravitate to or you can actually select a preset based on the game you're playing. They have a bunch and apparently they're adding more. So let's get into what I liked, what I didn't like, and whether or not I'd recommend the Sound Blaster Katana V2. And we'll start out here with what I liked. First and foremost, and I think this is the most important thing, I loved how this sounded. If I'm not mistaken, this Sound Blaster goes up to 252 watts and it was clear, it sounded good. Voices weren't muffled, Audio wasn't overpowering in certain areas. I thought these speakers were well balanced and very clear. On top of that, I love the customizability. There's a ton of different options. You can customize almost anything about this. You can change how it sounds. You can change how it looks based on the LEDs. There's a ton of different features and the app worked great. And the last thing I liked about this was the form factor and design. Now I was using this underneath my TV, but if you wanted to use this on your computer desk as your main computer speakers, you absolutely can. It's not very big. You can probably fit it under your monitor if your monitor is raised up. And if it's not, well, you can set it slightly in front of it and it shouldn't take up too much space on your desk. And the subwoofer, the side exit here is something I really, really like. Now I'm in the basement, so it doesn't really matter. But if you're on a second floor or a third floor or an apartment or something like that, if you've got a bottom exit subwoofer, well, everybody below you is going to hear that sub. Coming out the side, it reduces that uh, reverberation between different rooms dramatically. Now moving into things I didn't like about the Katana V2, and there are three of them here. The first thing is the fact that this doesn't have built-in Wi-Fi. It does have Bluetooth, but absolutely no Wi-Fi. If you need Wi-Fi, you're out of luck. Now for the second thing I don't like, and I'm certain people are gonna disagree with me on, is the fact that this has a built-in microphone. I really didn't see the need for a built-in microphone on a soundbar. I guess maybe if it's sitting on your desk and you're using this setup as speakers and a microphone, then maybe. Or if you're using it underneath your TV and trying to capture the audio from everybody in the room, then maybe. But at the same time here, this brings me into my third point. I would have wished they would have taken out the microphones and possibly put in a screen instead. As much as I like the app and as functional as the app is, I wouldn't have minded being able to control absolutely everything directly from the soundbar without requiring support from other apps. So there's one final thing to go over before I give my overall recommendation and that is the price. Currently the Sound Blaster Katana V2 is priced at $329.99, so basically $330. At $330, the Sound Blaster Katana V2 has a ton of competition. So would I recommend it at this price point? And the answer is yes, yes I would. I really think the Sound Blaster Katana V2 holds its own against the competition. And I think you'll be hard pressed to find something that sounds this good and offers these features elsewhere, especially at this price. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, all stuff and no fluff. Shoutouts to Creative for providing the Sound Blaster Katana V2 for a fair and honest review. With it being a soundbar, I was ready to be let down, but I really wasn't. I was very happy with it. Let me know your thoughts about the Katana V2 in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate. Save your state.